Greetings one and all, this is Rhythm Works and welcome to my channel and today as part of the Big Up series, the Fight Night Champion Edition, I am pleased to bring to you none other than a very valued member of the Fight Night community, none other than JC King of Kings. A very, very good day to you, sir, and please make yourself known to the people across the world. Good day to you, Rhythm Works, how are you doing? And, um, you know, I'd like to, you know, introduce myself. My name is JC King of Kings and and I play Fight Night Champion, and um, I've been playing PA games ever since, uh, I could say, the first Knockout Kings that came out, and you know, I've been playing the boxing games ever since then, and, you know, I just like to, uh, you know, expose my uh, likes and dislikes and the pros and cons about this game, so I'm ready to get started. You know, I've been playing Fight Night Round 3, Round 4, this one, and I've been playing it for a long time, round two also, all the fight nights, and, um, you know, I played it on Xbox, uh, played it on the Xbox One, Xbox uh, 360, PlayStation 2, now, you know, I mostly just play on the PlayStation 3 now, and, um, you know, it's just pretty much I'm a legend of the game myself, you know, I've been playing this game ever since uh, March, what, March 11th when it came out, the lunch lunch of the game, you know, I've been playing ever since then, and, um, you know, I've been, um, I've been good at it, you know, at first when I, um, bought the game, it was like, um, I actually had to adjust to it because of the controls, but, um, otherwise, you know, I've been playing this game for a while. Tell me, when you played Fight Night Champion, when you began to play Fight Night Champion as a follow-on to Fight Night Round 4, um, what features of the game you took to? Um, I like the new physics engine on uh, Fight Night Champion. It was it's uh it's a, a little bit more realistic than Fight Night Round Four. Um, the bracket system it's, it's I can say it's um, it's improved from Fight Night Round Four. You don't have to really do much of the blocking. You used to have to press the analog to get stick up and down, and you know I think you hold the R1 control controller and you press up and down the analog stick. And um, I like the the adjustments with the um, with the punch uh, punch controls, like uh, the spectrum punching on here. Is, uh, it's it's very unique. Um, it's it's more resourceful. You can actually land punches. Um, land, you, you you know you can actually land more combinations when you actually use the spectrum um, controls. But it depends on how you use them and how you control yourself with it. And um, and I think um, also I like the story mode on here. I, I, well, one thing about it, I think it should have been longer, you know. And um, but overall, I mean, le le legacy mode. Hold on, let me get to legacy mode. Legacy mode is good, but it's still kind of it, it's still the same. But I, they they the only thing that I seen they worked on um, was like uh, say for instance, your boxer becomes like number one in the uh, in in the weight division, you know. You, it's like you actually will be number one instead of like, you know, if you have like 32 wins and no losses in the legacy mode as a round out, fight night round four, you know, I remember like I was like not losing. Then all of a sudden you got, you got a guy that's, he has 88 wins with 12 losses. He's number one. I'm number five on the chart, you know, and I was just kind of confused about that. Like why can I be up on the charts like that? But, um, but otherwise, you know the features in the game, the story mode, uh, the full spectrum punching, um, and the and the blocking is is much improved from Friday Night Round Four. Okay, well that's that's that's, that's interesting to um to to know of your observation, but I'm gonna kind of pick pick them um pick them apart, so to speak, not to basically um you know not to disrespect your 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 findings, but just to play devil's advocate. A lot of fighters had criticisms of the um the one button block system that was featured in champion and it was more preferred to use the well the two button block the r1 and the stick um but with fight night champion you had the auto block so why why is it that you that you liked this block system over um over the block system before i might be i might be asking the obvious but i just need to kind of find out because a lot of people kind of is it, it's kind of thinking the other way in terms of the block feature particularly 
it really based on how you use the blocking system on here. You know, um, pretty much if you keep distance and you actually, you know, uh, block at, at, at a um, at a perfect time when when you need to block. Because actually, you know, when you we all know if you move around a ring and you hold another block at the same time, you know, you, you're liable to get hit punch by you know get hit by your punches or you know it's going to slow you down they're going to catch up with you or whatever you, if you run around the ring or but it's more effective if you're actually coming up on the guy and um that's what i like about it because when you come up on the guy you, you know you can pretty much like maintain your block and you can also like um be able to counter off your block it's based on timing um the feature on fight not Ryan four was good but you know the thing i didn't like about it was like just the transition in between blocking your head and blocking your stomach, you know, going back and forth, back and forth, trying, you know, and you got to, you know, you had people on the game that was actually able to land combinations from the head to the body, head to the body, head to the body. And then, like, you know, you're blocking and it starts to, like, they, I remember they had, like, this um, this blocking um, this blocking bar on there, right? Like, you know, if you if your blocking guard gets hit too much, that's when they start to punch through your guard and stuff like that. Yes, I remember but, that. You know. Yeah, and I, and I kind of hated that because I like, you know, I mean, that's good and all, but um, at the same time, man, if it, it needs to be where you can actually, they really didn't need to put that feature in the game. It need to be like where you can actually just keep blocking without just losing your blocking guard, you know, uh, just just losing strength in your blocking. I mean, I, in a way, it, it's kind of it's kind of real, but then again, it's not because no one is really. I mean, when when you think about it, like someone of the kids keeps hitting your arms. I mean, yeah, I mean your arms going to start to hurt after a while, but all at the same time, you'll still be able to block the punches. I mean, you, you can't punches won't be able to come through your guard like that for a long time. I mean, maybe a couple of maybe like five or six punches if you stay in one spot. Of course, they go get in, you know, for a while. I mean, but otherwise, like you know, with that. With the bar just wearing down from blocking punches, you know that that kind of just had me thinking like, you know, this I like fighting that round four, but the blocking this part of the blocking was like a downfall, and you know, also when I was saying with people landing combinations and stuff, you know, you, it's like you're going up and down, up and down, and you know, you like you 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 can't really block your head like you want to on you know. In a matter of time, or your body in a matter of time, because you have to keep the adjusting back and forth, you know. But auto blocking is pretty good, you know, and I like it. But one thing I do want to bring up real quick is uh, Fight Night Round Three. I like the blocking system on there. I prefer it. I actually prefer it over Fight Night Round Four. Let me tell you why. Because and I, I and I do think they need to if they when they whenever they make another Fight Night, they need to bring that blocking back into the game because. That right there is a little bit more effective because you can actually parry, like, you know, knocking person hands that hands away, like I'm fighting that round for you. You know, I was real good at parrying. It was other people. There's a lot of people that good, real good at parrying. You know, you can parry they blocks, knock the hand out the way, and, you know, you can counter. But that will be a real good feature blocking in this game. You know, the auto blocking was good on here. I like the auto blocking. But, you know, I think it would be better in a way, if they actually put the parry blocking on there, you know, where along with auto blocking, you know, you have auto blocking, but you can actually parry a shot, you know, like along with your auto block. You know, you could just, if you make a decision like, okay, you hold the button and you make a decision like, okay, I want to go ahead and go, you know, parry left. And so I can knock this guy, this guy hands down and count him with an overcut or, you know, any punch you have in mind. You know, I think the parry with the auto block would actually be a good thing okay. to add on with the new fight night. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a lay person here because um, I came into the fight night series pretty late. I came in from round four, so I really have no knowledge of round three. Although in the forums, I hear a lot of people talk about fight night round three and how that particular edition they found was much better than round four. So in relation to, yeah. in relation to the blocking system, right? Um, mm -hmm. What, what is the configuration of the blocking system? I.E., you know, on the PS, whether it's, whether it's circle, square, cross or triangle or the right, left analog stick, or, you know, can you, can you, can you give a more technical description of how 
it was how it was operated, how the block system was operated, so that people who don't know about the game can can get a little picture of it. Oh, okay, for Fight Night Round Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, Fight Night Round Three. Like you'll be able to like th this. How they had it set up. It, it was where you could use the right analog stick. You could um. Let me think. I think you use the right. Okay, you use the right trigger. Oh, see, I'm thinking of Xbox again. I was playing it so long. Uh, okay, you use the R1 stick on the um, PS uh, PS3. If I I haven't played in a while, I think it was the R1 stick. But if you hold the R1 stick, you'll be able to like use the the analog stick as if um, you could parry left, like you could you could guard your head left. You could guard like one side of your body. If you, if you if you hold it left. And you and you go like like if you just go up and down on the left side of the stick, the part you can you can block your body on the left side. You can block your head on the left side. You know you can block ahead of you. You can, with both hands you can block ahead of you down with both hands. You know it's like you can parry either side. You know. So let, so let, so 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 to cut you. So let me get this right. Okay. So the configurations of the um of the of the layout on the on the PS3 controller. So basically it's it's a it's a button led game. It's a it's a button led game, right? Yeah. So there was, so so basically you you're not throwing any punches with the analog sticks either analog sticks at all so all the all the uh, well um, yes you actually yeah you do you, you still throw um, punches with the analog stick but you use like the um, R1 button just to stay in guard mode you know you can stay in guard mode and once you let go it's it's it's, it's similar to fighting around uh, fighting like around four, uh, round four where you can actually hold the the right stick but uh, but you cannot. Pay you know, you cannot parry the left side of your body and right side of your body. Oh, okay, I got you know, it. Mm -hmm. You could the only thing you could parry just you know, fighting around for just up and down, like you know, you could parry block up, parry block down. That's all you can do. But you know, like I said on fighting around round three, you could parry either side of your body and, and you know, you being you being like um blocking mode. But and they they also had it where like, you know, once you come off blocking mode that's when you can throw punches. You have to let go of the button. Then the way they had the uh, the buttons was the same as uh, on Final Round Three was the same buttons. Uh, the analog stick was the same as uh, Final Round Four, you know. And they and they actually, of course, they changed up on uh, Final Champion. I really think like the way they did the analog stick on Final Champion was a little bit better. Instead of you going all the way around to throw an uppercut on the on on the analog stick, you know, they, it gets kind of annoying. Sometimes, because I'm not too good at just going all the way around in a circle and throwing the hook, <laughs> you know. Right. I, I, I wasn't too good with that, but um. But otherwise, you know, uh, the blocking system, like I said, it, it was it was it was um, it was more I can say it was more advanced than it than it is um than it was on Fight Night Round Four. Now, I need to basically ask you this question in relation to just the button and the sticks debate. When you play Fight Night Champion, do you play with a combination of buttons, buttons and sticks, or do you basically choose one over the other? Oh, I, I, I use a combination of, of the two. You know, um, when it comes to landing uppercuts, I'm not good at pressing two buttons together, so I just go ahead and use the analog sticks to throw my uppercuts. Uh, I love using the flare, the uh, the flare straight, and I also love to use the uh, the hooker cut. I love the hooker cut because that is a guard through punch it gets through the guard you know it just depends on how you use it but if you actually use uh use it along with the um haymaker modifier you know it's very effective you know it's more effective just trying to throw a hook uh with the circle or the square button it's more effective if you use the hooker cut that's a very but, um, that's a that's a very, sorry to cut you that's 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 a very good point you're making i think i think the hooker cut is one of the most underused punches in the game you know yeah. and it it just it just looks it looks different it it, it looks more fluid actually you know yeah. when, when you when you see a hooper a, a hooper a hooker cut executed right you know and um you know admittedly it's like you know i'm i'm so used to just throwing one twos and hooks and and jabs and straights and things like that but then when you know when when, when i when i use the hooker cut it's like it's it's almost like a punch that my opponent is just not expecting and and is, and is yeah. wondering how did he do that and where did that basically come from <laughs> so you make a very good you make a very very good point it is um 
basically how you just use it. Um, because, yeah, you're right about that. It's, it's, it's one of the punches that is not really useful in the game that people don't really use, you know. And out of surprise, yeah, you can actually land combinations along with it. I mean, it, it actually takes practice to, to actually learn how to use combinations, um, you know, land combinate well, you know, use combinations with the analog stick um, on this game because sometimes, you know, uh, if you do not learn how to control the analog stick, if you're trying to throw like three or four combinations at a time, you end up throwing like five or six. But you know, it's just it's just a matter of practice. You know, I mean, a lot of people say like, man, I don't like using the analog stick, man, because you know, uh, it, it throws too many punches at one time. But you know, it all takes practice. It's just it's just like an adjustment. You know, you just adjust to it. You know, and, and and I feel like uh, once you adjust to it, then, you know, you can be very effective. And I, I do believe it can win you more rounds because, you know, it's, this, this game, it, it gener you know, it looks for, like, you know, combinations. You know, that's how you win rounds, combinations. But also, like, for some reason, I don't know why it may be delusional to me but or anyone else, but I don't think so. But um, it seems like Opercuts land more, you know, they they more consistent with the uh, analog, to be honest. I don't know why, but... Um, you know, I would suggest that people actually learn how to use the um, the the um, full the, the spectrum controls because it's more effective, believe it or not. You know, you can win rounds more often, and you can land body shots. Actually, you can land more body shots, especially in the OWC mode, because you know it's really hard to land body shots in the OWC mode in a way. Um, you know, but um, of course, you can land body shots all day in the, uh, the fight now mode, you know, you can let them all day, but I, I guess they they adjust the AI settings on the OWC mode where you can't really land body shots like that. I guess they make you more, they make you think more and um, where you can actually reserve your, your energy in the fight, so. Although the story mode was a good addition, I think it was an addition that um, basically lost its value upon um, reaching reaching the ultimate chapter in the story. After playing the champion mode, would, would it be a feature that you would you would want to see in the next fight night or or wouldn't you wouldn't you really care too much if it was omitted from the next installment? Okay, if they actually add more challenges in the game, like, well, they really didn't have any challenges, but if they add challenges in the story mode, and um, if they also will, you know, just add on to the story a little bit more, and I think I'll be, I, I, I would like it for it to be on there, but, uh, but in a way, I can say this, <laughs> um, it, they really don't need it on the next one because it, it just need to be a limited a limited edition, you know, like for the, only for this version of Fight Night, you know. But because uh, if they add another one, it's not going to really feel like a boxing game anymore. You get what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Abs it, yeah. It, it, it's it's going to turn out to be like, oh, okay, it's just uh, a, a, a one of those story mode games you know, with boxing, and it's going to start to feel like a more of a story mode slash arcade. You know, you, you get it, if, when you get into your your your, your fight now mode and you get into your um, your online mode, you know, you're going to start, it's going to start to feel like an arcade game. It's not going to feel like a simulator anymore, you know. And, I, I mean, like I said, you know, only this edition right here, you know, it, it's good for that, but... I mean, if they add more stuff to the story mode, like I said, like, you know, just uh, challenges and um, and extend the story a little bit longer, yeah, that would be cool. But still, at the same time, I think it's going to take the feel of boxing, uh, uh, boxing, the feel of boxing simulation away, you know, because I really think what they need to improve on is the uh, the uh, training mode they need to improve on. They need to improve on also on the legacy mode, you know, they need to actually make the game where, you know, each fighting style has its own, has its own training section, you know, if you could just train for an inside fighter, you could train for an outside fighter, you know, you could train for a boxer puncher, you know, just, just, uh, just, just like pretty much train for that particular style, you know, because 
me and my me and my uh, one of my friends, you know, we uh, Kid Ray, we was talking, to, we would had a discussion about Fight Night, and uh, you know, he came up with some good, um, so he came up with some good ideas, man, mm -hmm. on how the next Fight Night need to be. Yeah. So one of one of one of the ideas he told, like you know, one of the idea, one of the, uh, the things I just mentioned uh, is one of his ideas actually, you know, and and I really think like you know we were discussing it, discussing it, you know, discussing the. Um, how they need to actually make the game, you know, for the next version, you know, especially the footwork, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to go with the footwork as well because uh, not every fighter can move around the ring effectively, you know, especially an inside fighter. You know, we all know an inside fighter doesn't, he's not mobile. You know, he, he more just that person, who, he's, he's going to stay on the inside. He's going to chase you around the ring. You know, it like, like, an outside fighter, of course, we know he can move around the ring. We know an unorthodox fighter can move around the ring. We know uh, a counter puncher, you know, he got good footwork to move around the ring, but he's still kind of stationary a little bit. But I really think they need to set the AI where uh, the AI needs to be uh, set to the point where each fighter has his own footwork. You know, if, if uh, you got an outside fighter uh, that, that's trying to go to the outside, you know, he, he's he's not going to be effective like he would be on the inside, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of people on this game in OWC mode. They got a fighter that's tall and he has power, which is an inside fighter, you know. And, it, you know, it kind of makes me upset because I'm like, you know, and when you think about it, like, you know, an inside fighter can, you know, move around the ring like that and, and just butt somebody's head with a straight, you know. <laughs> I mean, he has to actually come forward to land his punches because mm -hmm. he's not strong like that on the outside. But in the in, on the inside, he's very strong, and his footwork is not, you know, he's not that bouncy type, you know, where he can bounce around the ring and stuff like that. He's more that, you know, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to stay flat footed so that way I can stay I can be stationary and just land a good punch on you, you know, because inside fighters, yeah, they got real they got good the good head movement, you know, a lot of them. Uh, well, you know, like Joe Fraser, he was one of he was one of the best inside fighters. Of course, he had a really good head movement. He could get inside. You know, he made people miss and stuff like that. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. you know, I really I really think they need to make the game where you know they have certain um, a certain type of uh, inside fighter, a certain type of outside fighter. You know, you got a like I said, you got an inside fighter that, got, that has good head movement. You got an inside fighter fighter that he don't mind taking the punishment and still get at you. You know. Uh, you know, like outside fighters, you got outside fighters that like Muhammad Ali, he bounces around the ring. You know, you got outside fighters like Thomas Hearns, he stay on the outside, but he doesn't he doesn't really uh, move around like that. But he he keep distance. You know, like you know, this different types of um, you know different types of you know outside fighters or boxer punches and stuff like that. I, I mean, I really think they need to add something like that to to pretty much you know make a Fight Night champion a, a I mean, not fighting that champion, but you know the the other fight now. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to name the next one, but whatever they name the fight night, you know, I really think they need to make it where it's going to actually meet up to the expectation that style makes fights. You know, I mean, the style makes fights. Um, to my eyes, on this game, is really not. It's it's really not at that point yet. You know, I mean, in a way, it is, but. All at the same time, I mean, I, I like using the inside fighter. You know, I get upset that, you know, I'm on the inside and, I'm, you know, I'm expecting that I'm going to land enough punches, but he really don't land enough punches. Because if you, like I said, if you look at it at a real listed, listed uh, standpoint, you know, you, you actually could see a, you actually see an inside fighter. He land punches majority of the time on the inside, you know, especially body punches. You know, I get upset when I can't land the body punch. I'm like, man, come on now. Can it get through the guard? I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, I get upset. I mean, I'm throwing haymakers, man. What's up? You know, I mean, you, I'm looking at an unorthodox uh, power. You know, he has 90 power, and you got a 98 inside fighter. You mean to tell me that the unorthodox fighter could block, like, three or four of his body punches? Come on now, and only one land? You know, it's just certain things that EA need to like brush up on. You know, and and I mean, I, I see, I see the the potential is there. You know, I see the potential is there. You know, but I, I think they need to just. I think the story mode, in a way, to be honest, they they were too focused on the story mode on this game, and 
it's certain physics they could have did a little bit better on the game. Mm-hmm. It, it, you know, it, you know, in my point of view, but I really think, like, like I said, they need to make it more, more like to to what they say the game is. Style makes fight. I mean, yes, that like I said, style do make fight, but they need to actually make it that way. Well, I hear that. I hear that, and. Um... It's, it's, it's funny that you mentioned Fight Night's fighters. I could imagine the conversation you and Fight Night fighters had about this whole game. <laughs> I can sit down and imagine, man. It's like, you know, because I, I, I interviewed him and um, his insight is very, is very deep and broad and wide, man, in relation to, you know, the... The, 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 all the factors of the game and what he would like to see improved on the game. And he was basically saying that he was having a... When I raised a question um, in relation to XP and all that kind of stuff, he said, well, he was having a conversation with somebody. So I can imagine... I can, I can assume that that person was yourself that he had the conversation with in relation to, yeah. to all of this. But... I mean, we could we could talk we could talk for for days and days and days, but yeah. I've, I've only got a, a short amount of time allocated for each interview. So, um, yeah. you've more or less answered the the following two questions I was going to ask you, which oh, was that's nice. It's it's okay. Uh, you know, I, you know, that's how I am, man. I'm, I'm very detail oriented, man. Like, I mean, I'm very detailed, you know, when it comes to anything, man. You know, especially when I you know, look up information about stuff. And, hey, it's all good. You know, like me, you know, me, you know, me I'm, I, I love boxing, man, and, and and I look at every aspect of boxing, you know, and if, I, if I'm going to play a boxing game, see, the reason why I'm playing Fight Night because I like boxing and my friends playing it, you know, but, you know, I see potential in the game, but it just, you know, I, they could do better. That's all I got to say. Absolutely, yeah. man. Articulate, my brother. Articulate, man. All right, well, um, well, the next question I'm going to ask you is this: um, In your experience of playing Fight Night, I mean, who are who are the cats that has um, captured your attention? Whether it be the veterans or the or the new blood, the young guns coming in now. I mean, obviously, we know that the game is two years old, and it's and it's and it's for want of a better phrase, kind of played out. I think it's it's about time that the that the new game is going to be announced to come out and i've just heard that um sony has announced um that the announcement for the ps4 is going to be held on the 20th of this month so it will be interesting to find out um if fight night round whatever whatever it's going to be called is going to be featured as a launch title for the console because it was a launch title for um the xbox 360 I remember, and and so relapse reminded me, um, you know. So, with that, who are basically, you know, the the people that you know that has um, come to your attention out of the whole fight night community that is doing good things for the game. You know, I ran into some elite fighters, man. Uh, I remember the first time when I got this game, I ran into this dude. Uh, the first time I fought against somebody that had the belt was Kid Vega. You know, he, man, you know, that dude was, uh, he was really competition, man. He, you know, I <laughs> I couldn't figure him out, you know. But uh, I remember, yeah, Kid Vega was uh, a real good competitor. Uh, he compete very well. Uh, Z Flash, I, I remember fighting him. You know, we went back and forth. I beat him one time. He beat me another time. But he was a competitor. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, DJ Easy, man. I, I remember him. You know, he's one of my friends now. And then I, I remember fighting him, man. And, you know, we went at it. We, we had some wars. Uh, yeah, like, you know, uh, him and um, let me see. If this guy, um, let's see, uh, UFC Jocker, yeah, he. You know, I ran in, you know, he, he's he's a, a very, very good competitor. Um, also, uh, Icon Legend, he's a good competitor, you know. But uh, the the way they, they, they fight on this game, I, I really respect it. You know, even though they they uh, was taught, they, they taught rank, you know, I really respect their fighting style because they actually box, you know. You know, I, I just don't like that. Yeah, yeah, I hate spamming. You know, of course I hate spamming. Everyone... You know, people that like the game of boxing hate spamming. But, um, you know, when, when it comes to spammers, I don't respect that. I don't respect their gameplay. I can't because that's the easy way to win. And, you know, that's another thing I want 
fight night to actually adjust. And I, I also like your song, man, uh, your, your Spamming song. I was tripping off that. <laughs> I left a comment on that, man. I, I put LOL on that. That, that, had, me, that had me tripping. Well, I, 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 could. <laughs> <laughs> well I can't take the full credit for that. I've got to, I've got to give the credit to um, one of my gaming buddies, Pemby66. Now, he sang, he sang that song, right? But he did he, he he didn't sing the spamming part, but what he's what he's saying, um one thing they teach you is the is the size they pop a gun. I I fell about laughing. I was I was I was cracking up. Oh man. And I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sing that. I'm gonna sing that and put it on YouTube. He said, Go ahead, man, go ahead, and that's what I've done. So you know what I mean? Big up to big big up to Pemby sixty six, man. Man, uh, you know, that's like I said, I like that song, but uh, you know, those are the people I, I really respect. That was uh, that top fighters that I like, I, you know, that that plays the game like it should be played. You know, uh, you know, and you got, you know, I fought, I fought. You know, I'm, got, I'm not going to call anybody out. I fought some people that's top rank and they spammers. You know, I don't like their style. Yes, yes, I don't like your style. But you fought me before. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't like your style because you spam. You know. But you know, I don't respect that you know you 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 top rank because you don't need to be up there because you spam. You know, you need to box. Right. But I'm not gonna call nobody out. You know. But I don't want to embarrass nobody. But man, you gonna call me out, man? You gonna tell me about myself? Yeah, yeah. But whatever. But you know, like I said, the people I just named, you know, I, I want to get a shout out to them as well. Uh, Kid Ray, I'm gonna get a shout out to my my boy Kid Ray, man. You know, he respect the game as well. But, but uh, yeah, man, that's. That's those are the people I, I get respect to, you know, and you know, along with the elite fighters I name as well. Well, many thanks for that. And um, my final question would be: um, if anybody would like to um, link up with you on the gaming network, how can they do that? And how can they link up with you um, on a social media tip if if that is um, accessible for people? Uh, well. I don't, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't mess around on Facebook no more. Um, you know, me and my wife, we, we, we're not on Facebook no more. I, I was on there, but not no more. Um, but uh, you can actually just, uh, you know, just basically hit me up on the PlayStation Network, man. I, you know, I'm not just only JC King Kings. Um, I have another, I had different gaming tags, Fairfield 205, Army of Christ 2K12. Uh, also, uh, Red Rat, 84, 86, 08, you know, those are my different gamer tags, you know, you can hit me up on there, you know, and, you know, if you want any tips, you want to fight, you know, feel free to let me know, you know, you want to play Madden, let me know, that's where you can hit, up, hit me up at, just the PlayStation Network, that's it. Well, full appreciation for that, sir. And, um, you know, and I just wanted to say thank you for just taking time out to to link me and to, um, you know, to take part in this interview series. I mean, the reason why I'm doing it, like I said, is just to bring um, the Fight Night community together. I, I really like how you put in work with interviews, man. That is a real good thing. Get to know people, man. You know, get to know they, they style of, of, of the game and, you know, and you know, how, how they how they relate to it and stuff. But, yeah, I, I really like that, man. I really respect that. And, you know, after I, after I, I seen your video on YouTube, and um, I actually, actually uh, uh, DJ Easy told me you interviewed him. I watched it. I was like, dang, man, let, shoot, let me get interviewed, man. You know, I, 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 want, I want people to know, you know, about my opinion on the game. But, you know, I seen that. You know, when I when I see your your pay your your, um, your channel, you know, I'm like, man, this is a cool dude, man. Especially that song. That song had me tripping. I'm still on that <laughs> song, man. But, you know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. You know, and I see, you know, you're you're a cool person. You're decent, and you know, you know, sometimes you know, you got people on this game. You know, they, they, you know, some people take the game too serious. You know, I, I don't like when people take the game too serious. You know, and it's only a game. So you you win some, you lose some, you know, and it doesn't it doesn't make sense to allow a game to tie into your emotions, you know. Why why would you let that happen, you know? I, that is true. That I'm is true. Gonna, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna call nobody out on that, but you know that's what I don't like. If you you take the game too seriously, you know I don't care how good you are on the game, you know if, if you can't take a loss, you know I don't want to play you because I I don't like when people send me crazy mess crazy messages, you know, saying this and that, and one guy sent me a message threatening my life, you know, I'm like, are you serious? Like, it, it ain't that serious, you know, I, I mean, you know, stuff like that, I I, I really hate stuff like that, man, because video games are supposed to be fun, man, they're not supposed to be all serious and, 
you know, well, you know, like you paying for like a million dollars or something. Like, you know, people get mad, man. You know, I wouldn't be surprised some people be crying over this game, man. I, I, I'd be wondering, you know, but I'm just saying, like, you know, if you're going to play the game, I, I don't mean to hold up your time. I, I just got to say this. Man. No problem. Play the, if you're going to play a game, I don't care what game it is, if it's a video game, don't get mad and don't send dirty messages when you lose, especially when you win. Okay, don't do that. Please don't do that. That don't make sense. You know, it's, it's things, I mean, video games are just for fun. You know, it, it's, it's not even reality. You know, I mean, it's bigger things in life that you could really get upset over. You know, if so, you know, it's it's bigger things than that. But you know, a video game, it ain't worth it, man. But you know, that's my thoughts on that. You know, I, I really, really just want people just to play the game, just to have fun. That's it. Well, on that righteous note, I'm gonna close the interview, and I'd just like to say once again, JC King of Kings, thank you so much for taking time out. Um, for conducting this interview. It's been a pleasure. It's been enlightening. You know, it's been gratifying to, to, to share your knowledge of the game, not only as a player of Fight Night Champion, but, you know, but as a gamer across the whole series, you know. So I'd like to thank you for taking time out and um, I hope to see you in the ring. But one thing, when I see you in the ring, please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Just, you know, just, just knock me out, just quick and clean. If you if that's what you gotta do, just knock me out quick and clean. Cause your hooker cuts, I can I can see them coming already, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I don't know how good you are in this game, man. I I, I think I probably need to say the same thing to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for di thank you for putting it so dip diplomatically. But yeah, but many thanks, JC, and we will link up very very soon. Hopefully throughout the um, the new the new um, installment of Fight Night. Have yourself a blessed day, and we will link up soon. All right, thanks, man. God bless you. Have a good one. Yeah, man. Peace.